and welcome to episode 81 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon! Might be in a good mood, don't ask me why. RB Jackers is on 35 goals! West Ham United against AFC Wimbledon is your first game of this episode. Right then, if you can't listen to the government, your elders, or the doctors, listen to me. Please stay at home, you're being told to chill at home and do nothing. That's your job at the moment. So goodness me, if you cannot do that, you're a wrong un. You need to be put on a register. Treat yourself, get a couple of games, play them, stick time into them. Football Manager is free at the moment and it can run on basically any PC. Get Stardew Valley, that's cheap. Get Euro Truck Simulator 2, that's dirt cheap as well. These are really good games that you can plunge hours into. I know it's not productive, but your production right now is to stay at home. So please stay at home. A Conquo, ship up. Lovely assist by a Conquo, have that! Have that! Oh, Kong Kuo, oh, always believe in your soul. You got the power to know you're indestructible. Always believe in Kong Kuo. Oh. Bit of space in the center. Snake standing tackle. Ruben Cook had to be careful of that. Yeah, come, Snake. Clearance just falls straight to Obi Jackers. Gets it back from Eric Melville, but there's a lot of. Um, have you seen a touch like that before? Oh no, the game is starting to unravel before our eyes. Ruben Cook fizzes one into Obi Jackers, and still we can't get through. But that is a free kick. What an opportunity here to finally score one, to grab that £100 that was on the table. Ruben Cook madness. Here we go, 22 yards out. Lanzini wants a piece of the action. No, thank you, mate. Big Reuben Cook. Green time! It's in! It's in! Yes! Reuben Cook has done it! I've just won 100 pounds! <laughs> yes! Yes! End the episode here, boys. <laughs> We've had two shots on target, two goals. That is clinical. Ruben Cook. Oh, I'm delighted. And I'm delighted for him. Ruben Cook had a really terrible episode last time out, and well, he needed something like that to turn the tide. What a player Ruben Cook is. Just want to keep this one steady. Don't want to bring West Ham back into it. Kellamo Flannery. Terrible pass there by a Conquo. Conquo press nearly working out and grabbing the ball back. Opportunity there for West Ham to shoot. Got to stop them from doing anything here. Just, uh, oh, thumb grip's falling off as Enzo Bardi saves it. Hang on, mate. Jockeying with Ruben Cook. This is where he's the best. Anchoring. Just protecting them centre-backs. Can't get the standing tackle right. Oh, dear. Is it really where he's best? Oh, Bright Chateau needs to win a head off. That is always dangerous. But now Eric Melville is free to do a bit of running here. A Conquo. Here comes Obi Jack as he only needs to play inside. It's a Conquo. Oh my goodness. Oh, you missed. That would have put the game to bed. Steve Povich is coming on for Eric Melville. Playing it around again. And it's a really nice play. Sweaty ball across. I knew that was happening second half has been a completely different game. Full time, utter frustration. Yes, I might have finally scored a free kick, but I'd rather have the win. I hate when you've done enough to win a game, and yet you haven't won the game. Innocent Fafana is out on loan. This one should be easy. We got a home game against Fulham. Where are Fulham in the table? 18th. Can't see us winning the Premier League title this year because it would be games like that that we'd win that we just keep on rolling and we don't have that shutout ability. AFC Wimbledon against Fulham. Can we just get Obby free? Django swinkles around, there he is! Obby Jack has great save, Callum Flannery! Oh! What? 
we've not been at the level of West Ham. No chance. That first half against West Ham was excellent. Fulham cannot attack to save their lives. That's probably why they're in 18th place. A little inside run there by Callum O'Flannery. He's quick enough to catch up with this. It's Callum O'Flannery! Yes! At the time he's got this ball, he's about 10 yards away from the nearest defender. The speed! It is disgusting! Fulham are trying, Fulham are knocking, Fulham are not getting anywhere. There's no one at the door. The door is locked. The door is bolted up, mate. Oh! Mm, touches like that from Bekic, though. Make me worry. Pressed on by Django Swinkles. Obi Jackers has a chance to go himself. Oh, playing a Conquo! What a finish! Oh, Conquo! Oh, always believe in your soul! You got the power to know you're indestructible! Always believe in! Oh, Conquo! Oh! Always believe in your soul! Oh! Full time, a better second half performance. That's made me very happy. Well done, AFC Wimbledon. We should be back in the top four with that win. It's January transfer deadline day, but that's not what we're concentrating on because we got an away trip here to Leicester. Solid team, and they've even got options off the bench. Knight's not quick. And then there's also a makeshift right back. There's nothing to be changed in our side. It's Leicester City against AFC Wimbledon. Getting quite warm in here now, but we will survive. Go on, lad. Well done, Dalibor Bekic. Here comes Schneg. There's a whole lot of Schneg to get past. Nice touch, or was it? Oh, I don't know. That was dodgy. <laughs> Big save, Enzo. Well played, mate. Well done, Dalibor Bekic. Standing tackle doesn't mean much, though, because Leicester City have the ball back. Django Swinkles closing down. Fantastic timing on the tackle. <laughs> save, Enzo Bardi. <laughs> mate. Enzo Bardi flying around the place. Getting swamped in midfield at the moment. Well done, Adam Nichols. Just kicking, mate. Corner is in, and that is a clearance there. Off the line by Bright Chatter. We are hanging on. Oh, that's another save there. Enzo Bardi has had an unbelievable first half. Half time, 0 0. Leicester City on the front foot. We are defending for our lives. Enzo Bardi making some very important stops. So many players forward. He's got to be offside. Yes, flag goes up. They cannot penetrate Enzo Bardi's net today. Little flick, little dink. Well done, man. Oh my goodness. Enzo Bardi, where would we be without you? It has just been defend, defend, defend. And for the most part, we've done a brilliant job on it. Here comes Schneg. Whole lot of Schneg to get past. And Django Swinkles. Still they get a shot off. And still Enzo Bardi completely denies them. I think we've only had the one shot in this game. And I think our next shot will be the goal that wins it. Mason Greenwood. No. Dalibor Beckett shuts that down. Go on. Obi Jackers to win the game. Obi! Melville! It's on sign! I knew we were going to win it! I knew it! Eric Melville! Get in there! Three shots in the entire match and two have just come in that attack. We are going to win this game after defending so hard. We have defended like absolute troopers. The miracle match. Enzo Bardi must have made about 10 saves. Two out of minutes to go. We got Jacob Vieran and definitely winning that ball and collecting the rebound. Well played, mate. That is crazy good by AFC Wimbledon defensively. Enzo Bardi, yeah. Take the applause. Take the celebrations, mate. Soak it in. You deserve it. That's why you're captain, mate. It's unbelievable. This goalkeeper is just... No words can describe what he's doing. Enzo Bardi, save after save. And this is the gift we get for persevering with Limpendry all the way through that first season. Just goes to show how important that game is. Second place now. Six points behind Manchester City. I still don't think we're going to win it, but we're just there. We're there putting the pressure on. We've already gained seven points this episode. Could it be ten? That would be exceptional. AFC Wimbledon against Manchester United. And the chips are down. You want Callum O'Flannery in your corner. Well done, Ruben Cook. You want Enzo Bardi in your corner as well. Yes, 
Obby Jackers. Yo! <laughs> Make way for Obby. Obby, the king is here to say. Make way for Obby. Obby, he scores every time he plays. Obby Jackers, good spot. It's Eric Melville. Now, last time these two played, I think Aaron Wambisaka had a nightmare against Eric Melville, and that continues. Eric Melville! Man United are trying as well. That's the best thing. Man United are very much trying here. The AI are trying to get one up on me, and it's not happening. That's a foul! Penalty! Ah! Callum. Oh, Flannery. Oh, Henderson dives the right way. Paul Pogba thought he was going to take a long shot. Got Django Swinkles ready for that finesse. Oh, oh, there we go. Man United do have themselves a goal. Is the comeback on? Can we learn from the mistakes that cost us that West Ham win? Still all subs intact. So although I don't really want to use them because I don't think they're needed. And we've got Europa League action soon. We're nearly there, boys. We're getting into added time and there's no information on the added time. Cheers, ref. Call it. Call it now. End the game. Wimbledon 2. Man United 1. Big big results this episode i feel like we've changed as a team boys have turned into men and what is it with eric melville always getting important goals he will be fondly remembered in this series he won't be one of the outstanding players but he will always have a place in my heart next episode european football is back it's another pathway potentially to the champions league next season so i'm taking it very seriously indeed and i think we might actually bring back some players off loan just to make sure we've got a very decent side for that competition without having to rely that much on first team players this has been cutsy thank you ever so much for watching this episode of youth squad legends if you've enjoyed the video then please give it a like if you're not subscribed around here yet press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications i will see you next time Bye.